Okay, so uh, as your instructions show you in step one, uh, the first thing you want to do is measure the as the crow flies distance from the uh, first lighting instrument to where it will be hitting on the stage. It marks this as seven foot three inches, and so that's the line that we need to create. So uh, we are going to go from here to here, tab seven foot three inches, enter, enter. I'm going to create another line right here. Uh, I am going to uh, change this line to a different color just for our sanity. I think I'm going to make it black. So I'll do a draft uh, normal line. Um, and we'll make sure that this is set to class style, color by class. Don't forget that you can always make everything to class by just uh, make all it attributes by class. There you go. Um, so now our uh, line is now black. Uh, I am going to go ahead and move this human here. Um, oops. Now I'm going to move this human here, uh, making sure the duplicate is off. Also, if you have any uh, problems at any point with uh, drawing a line and wanting it to be at a 90 degree angle, don't forget that there are two modes here, and always keep an eye on your modes, as I've said before. But this is the constrained mode, and this is the unconstrained mode. So you always want to, I always find that being in unconstrained mode is usually where I want to be, um, just to, to be aware. So now we have a person that is seven foot three inches away from the distance uh, from the lighting instrument to the ground. And the next thing that we want to do is see what that light beam spread is. Um, and so if we go to Resource Manager, uh, we can go to Photometrics Tutorial Lighting Instruments. Um, and we are uh, going to call this oh, a 36 degree instrument. So I'm going to double click on this. I want to make sure that I am in um, the lighting insertion mode, right, that we talked about last time. So just make sure that that is on. Um, it's still giving me a uh, lighting instrument, which tells me that we have to go to resource manager lighting instruments after we've selected insertion mode. Um, so I'm going to say a 36 degree instrument, double click. And now we have what we need. So we want that to go uh, right here uh, where the image plane is. So that's where your gobo goes in the light. That's where the uh, light beam spreads from. Uh, and we want to go ahead and make sure that that gets put right where that intersects uh, the, the human head there, right? Uh, so now that we have our light beam spread uh, in the proper place, so that was... Um, uh, step six, essentially, and this is where we now know what the angle of this is, uh, simply by, uh, using our, uh, line tool. You can just look at it. It tells you what the angle is. It's about 68 degree angle, looking good, uh, as far as our instructions go. Uh, so continuing on to step seven, we want to create a line at a 90 degree angle to the center of the lighting beam. Um, and so this is where you can try and do a constrained, there you go. So with the constrained mode that I was talking about with lines, uh, this makes this much easier, right? You just sort of go, bam, there we go. Um, the I would also encourage you to use the uh, line that goes in two directions, right? because you can uh, find this uh, point and then it goes in both directions. Uh, now it may be a little short like it is here. You just go ahead and adjust that. Great. Uh, and it is looking like it's a little off center. So we're going to rotate it just a little bit. There we go. That looks to be a 90 degree angle. It doesn't have to be perfect. Uh, but it should be pretty close. So there we go. Um, that is uh, step seven. 
So then if we go to uh, step eight, we need to create a horizontal line at head height. And I'm going to go back to unconstrained mode. Actually, no, not. There we go. I'm going to edit this a little bit. There we go. Um, and I'm going to make these the colors that uh, they show uh, in the drawing as to not confuse you. So I'm going to pick up the next video with step nine.